Okay, so communication now then. Uh, there's two types, uh, there's internal and external. So internal is between members of the team and external is between the project team and uh, the external stakeholders. So the, the main sort of methods of, of it, the main methods of it, all communication where possible. This is the most important one. Um, so we always want to try communicate face to face or via telephone. Um, however, we need to then back it up with written confirmation of what was said. Um, it, it's the best way of doing stuff, it's the, the more favoured way. So it can be by telephone, written communication, emails, letters. Um, we're all getting a bit more IT friendly and the internet's really kicking off now, so emails are the, the new done way. However, solicitors will still go by letters. They will use email, but they'll probably scan a letter into the email. So some people still operate by the old ways for law reasons. So they will usually go by letters, but they could still use both. The reports, so progress reports, uh, corporate social responsibility reports sent out at the end of a project. Uh, meetings, presentations, site visits. Okay, these are all the sort of main methods of communications that will happen. So the client, the University of Greenwich, who will they be talking to? They're mainly going to be talking to the project manager of the University of Greenwich. Right? That is their go-to guy. Um, if they've got any queries, they'll speak to this person because that is a direct link to the rest of the team and the rest of the project. The way they're going to do this, oral communication, written communication, you know, they might pick up a phone, they might go to meetings, they might do certain things like that. The frequency of this could be on a weekly basis. Ultimately, it's whenever the client wants to speak to them. If the client sees something that they might not like, they will pick up the phone there and then, and they will phone the project manager and ask them about it and want to talk to you about it. Or they might send you an email about it. So ultimately, they will talk to you whenever they want to. But it is nice to have a weekly sort of meeting, a weekly sort of communication between, between you uh, and the client, between the project manager and the client. So project manager, University of Greenwich, who will they talk to? They will talk to the client, they will talk to the other project manager, the contract administrator side, uh, the user groups, the stakeholders, the um, end users, and the University of Greenwich design team, so the architect, uh, the quantity surveyor, all those sort of people. The methods they'll use, again, all written communication, definitely there'll be uh, scheduled meetings, and this is a two-way sort of thing, so they will be talking to those people, but in return, because it's a structure, they will be asking for progress reports to be sent to them. So it's a communication is obviously a two-way thing. And the frequency, be independent on each person. So for client, again, weekly basis, or whenever the client wants to. The other project manager, again, weekly basis, and whenever a problem arises, so if they have conflicts or variations, they'll pick up the phone or they'll drop in an email and they'll want it sorted there and then. So it might not be, well, that can wait until next week, you might phone them there and then. User groups, so the end users, students, staff, stakeholders. Fortnightly progress reports will be quite nice. Uh, you can send that out to everybody uh, and have a monthly stakeholder meeting. Have everyone come together, a representative of each group, and have a meeting. So this is what's happening with the project, any comebacks, that sort of stuff. And the University of Greenwich Design Team. Again, a weekly basis, fortnightly meetings uh, for progress reports from the design team. Um, a lot of these meetings, you're gonna be able to do at the same time. So when you're having a project manager meeting with your client, you might ask the architect or the quantity surveyor to come along with their progress reports. So you can all get your information out as a one-up straight away. 